Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're reviewing the Z-Pax Artcall 200 backpack. The backpack is 60 litres in volume which is broken down into 47 litres in the main pack and then two and a half litres on either side and then the pouch is 8 litres. As you can see, I've got quite a bit on my pack already. I've got my helmet, my ice axe, and uh, lots of unnecessary items for Lime Park in, uh, in the Peak District. Anyway, let's get into it. So, uh, the pack is made out of Ultra 200 material. What on earth is that? Um, it's essentially an upgrade from DCF, Dyna, Dyneema, composite fabric um, it's essentially more tear resistant 82% more tear resistant and um, I think it's around 120% uh, more abrasion resistant let me just check that right now because I've written it all out 150% sorry more abrasion resistant than DCF so it's an upgrade from Dyneema anyway the weight so in American Imperial uh, is 19.6 ounces or in uh, UK measures it's 556 grams so for a 60 litre pack 556 grams is absolutely outrageous considering most of the backpacks out there um, starting at 30 40 litres are around 1.2 kilograms and then if you're going up to 55 60 litres it's about 1.5 kilograms so yeah it really is super 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 flyweight um it's not hydration compatible it is ventilated so here you can see there's obviously well i can fit my hand i can literally fit my hand um through the back there which is awesome for ventilation um the max load is 13 and a half to 18 kilograms in terms of the max load which is a lot that's an awful lot and in american imperial it's 30 to 40 pounds so yeah can take a lot now in terms of the structure of it it's made out of carbon fiber there's five poles there's five uh, rods you've got two here i don't know if you can see that hopefully my trusty cameraman will help you can see one rod there and then also one rod here and then there's three down the, the the middle basically so that's like the structure of it um yeah so i absolutely love this backpack um and yeah it's kind of like well who would actually buy this backpack because the retail is 3.99 us dollars which is a lot of money uh so if you um if you don't do anything but hiking and camping yeah it's worth the money but if um you're just a casual walker then it's a big no-no in my opinion um in uk gbp it's uh it's yeah it's, it's, a, it's around 350 plus maybe 400 because there are obviously heavy import fees which are astronomical so yeah cost a lot of money but is it worth it well for someone like me who does really really long hikes does camping absolutely loves it yeah features right let's look at the actual pack now and um go through some of the, the stuff on it so as you can see here you've got daisy chains z packs actually do a water holder that goes there and there i've got the arm go pods um which i'll put a link in the description below and um i also have the chest pod from arm which i connect here and uh, that just connects up and i use that as well so because of the daisy change you can kind of just use it for for whatever really so i absolutely love it um the hip belt so uh hopefully you can see the hip belt it's not completely disappeared into my uh belly just yet <laughs> but uh yeah hip belt really comfortable hugs all the way around super duper comfy and uh, if you can see, you've got lots of cord around here. Fits my walking poles on this side. You've got my 
water bottle. It's quite difficult to pull it in and out, but it's possible. Um, but yeah, that's everything there. Let me show you the front. So the roll top. There we go. Roll top. So that's fully waterproof inside. Um, I'm going to take the helmet out as well, just to sort of show you how much space there is in here. You can see there I've got a map. I keep all my food in here. That's like a dry bag from Osprey. That goes in there. This is where my crampons are, so you just use this Dyneema cord. Take the crampons out pretty easily. So yeah, um, I'll show you inside as well. I will show you inside. So I've got like my sit mat and that's the material inside. You can see it's really, really waterproof. Do that back up now. Conditions have changed. Hail slash heavy rain. Put my helmet back in. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop us a comment, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, 